was disturbing for me, you know, because I created something over so many years, a lifetime, that I thought was beautiful and worth preserving and uh, so respected in the industry, in the cultural community, by the city, by everyone, by the artist community, uh, you know, and I felt, I, you know, it would be a shame to have that disturbed in any way. You know? I don't know what someone else will be able to contribute to that wonderful difference that it took me a whole lifetime to create. I never wanted the Chelsea to be a conformist community rather than an individual customized community. And that's what it was. So, you know, they have their own opinions, maybe. It's not the same as mine but it's um, uncomfortable for me, to say the least. Uh, I have to so protect the integrity, the people, and I feel these are my friends, and, uh, yeah, and they're worth protecting. <laughs> That's the beautiful part of it, is that this community, the Chelsea community, is so beautiful, uh, and different, and yes, yeah, strange, and kooky, but, all these things are highlights and something I consider very important in the total picture of the establishment. And who knows, they may know what they're doing, I don't know, but I'm trying to feel it out and then try to find out. But unfortunately, I'm not at liberty to know. They try very hard to not inform me. They almost go out of their way to keep me in the dark which to me I think is wrong in, you know, in so many ways. Yeah, I mean, where else do you find the landlord that is liked by its tenants? That's an unusual thing in itself. My tenants like me and respect me. And I respect them. Totally, wholeheartedly. It's a mutual admiration society. That's what I, I like to say it is. The Chelsea is a mutual admiration society. It took me one lifetime to create that. I hope I live another lifetime to see that it's preserved. Ethan Hawke was involved to some extent recently in what's been happening here, is that true? No, Ethan you... Hawke's a dear friend of mine. He lived here, he couldn't believe what was happening here. I did Chelsea Walls with him here. He, he, he says he can't believe these people. He can't believe these people. Every one of his friends, the entire movie industry, the uh, theater industry, they all love this hotel, what we created, what we did, and these people in one fell swoop want to change it. So, you know, that's where it stands now. Uh, upset? Yes, I'm very upset. I think Ethan did come by to show support for Seattle. Yeah, like Ethan yeah. wanted to be interviewed here and told the, <laughs> he embarrassed these people. He says, you guys don't understand. You don't know what it is. You don't know what you're messing with. You have no clue to what it's about. Uh, let the Bard family tell you. That's what he told them. <laughs> so. Do you think that'll help? Do you think they're listening? No. No. Which is a shame. Why are they so unresponsive? I, I wish I knew. They're trying to show, you see, each one has a different uh, agenda. They're trying to show we didn't know what we were doing. So that's their motive and uh, that's their agenda. So they could show this, these people that hired them how they know and how uh, you know, knowledgeable they are in running a hotel. I have a different opinion. I don't want to go into that. Arthur was a dear friend of mine. I used to take Rebecca when she was a baby home with me so that the parents could work. Uh, we, they used to play with my children. I have a lot of wonderful stories about the people here and the kind of people they are. Do you have like a favorite memory from... Well, I have so many. Uh, <laughs> thousands of memories. I mean, you know... Jackie Onassis used to come in here and collect... Uh, you know, I have a, 
I want to do my book. Someday I'll get around to it. I'm supposed to be already very involved in it. And this mess is, the last year or two is, is stopping me and hurting me from, from thinking on other things. All I know is everything we did, everything we created, everything we built over the years is so wonderful. Why would anyone want to change that? It took so many years. It was my life's dream, my life's work that people would want to come to the Chelsea Hotel. Because it is all these things. And they are. 